Hello again, booktube, and welcome to my final booktubeathon vlog. You may be asking why the final vlog? There are three days of the booktubeathon left. So I found out that it is pretty stressful to vlog every day and to edit the vlog every day and then to upload a video every evening. So I just decided uh, for myself that I will be doing just one vlog for the remaining three days of the booktubeathon. It is right now a few minutes past midnight on July 27th and I was listening to some nice music and uh, did some further work on my Halloween costume. So here you can see part one of the, of the shoulder armor and I also worked on my swords. And now I decided to get ready for bed and then read a bit. And the book I chose to read next is Ignite Me by Tara Murphy, which I picked for the first Booktubeathon challenge uh, to read a book with a person on the cover. So this is the German cover and there is a person on the cover. In my last vlog I said that I would read Gemina next, but I decided to read Ignite Me instead because I have this in German and Gemina only in English. and. Uh, since it's in the middle of the night, it's always easier for me to read something in my native language. So I will be reading Ignite Me. <laughs> well, hello guys, it is 1.30 in the afternoon and I just read a couple of chapters. I'm now on page 171 in the Invisible Library and last night I started to read Ignite Me and I'm on page 53 in Ignite Me and I'm really enjoying both books so far but now I have to take a break from reading because I'm going to the writing stable again and when I come back home I will be doing today's video challenge and I'm really excited to dress up as a bunch of book characters. So now I have arrived at the writing stable and I just spontaneously decided to include it in the vlog because writing is a big part of my life and so I thought it would be appropriate for you if you get to know the horse that I'm riding. It's not my own horse but it's almost my own. I ride him four days a week and the owner doesn't live in Hamburg anymore so I can basically do what I want. <laughs> So I just read a bit. I'm now on page 122 in Ignite Me and uh, right now I've made myself some snacks and turned on my computer. Oh, by the way, this is me and my horse. And I'm going to cut today's video challenge. Hello oh guys, it is now almost midnight and I'm in bed and I will try to read a few more chapters in Ignite Me. So this fourth day of the Booktubeathon was a more or less successful one for me. I managed to read at least a few chapters in both the books that I'm currently reading and I'm determined to finish both of them until the end of Booktubeathon. So <laughs> good night! <laughs> Guys, welcome back to another day of Booktubeathon. It is Friday, the 28th of July, half past 12, and so there are three more days of the Booktubeathon left, including today, and I am determined to get some reading done now. I read a few more chapters in Ignite Me last night. I'm now on page 184, and I really want to get some reading done right now, so let's do this. Woo. Hello guys, so I'm back and I'm sorry I didn't update today, but I was busy all day and now I'm together with a very good friend of mine and I'm at her house Woo. <laughs> and um, because she will sleep at mine spontaneously and I of course brought a book with me because booktube is done is still on and while she will get ready I will get some reading done. <laughs> So it is now a quarter to nine in the evening and I'm at my friend's and I just read a few more chapters and I'm now on page 248 and I plan on reading more tonight. So uh, I'm pretty optimistic that I will finish this book until the end of Booktubeathon. <laughs> 
Hello again guys, it is now 10 past 11 and I am pretty tired now and I will go to bed now but I just read summer chapters and I'm now on page 343 in Ignite Me and I'm so amazed by Terry Murphy's writing style because her language is so beautiful. I can picture everything in my head and it makes me feel something and makes me feel a connection to her characters and I just love her writing style so much. Um, so I'm pretty sure I will finish this tomorrow and, and I hope that I will also be able to read a few more chapters in the Invisible Library tomorrow and maybe I will also start another book. And even though I didn't have much time for reading today, I managed to read about 160 pages, which I think is pretty good. So see you tomorrow.